California is getting rain all over, huh? When you speak, what do you feel? Come on, let us start. We have to finish the class. I'm not going to sit here whole night. I'm asking fundamental question. Do you speak what you speak <clears throat> and do you have the text of what you're going to speak or you're intending to say intuitively, emotionally or personally? Come on. There's no answer? You never thought of it? Very. Huh? It's very. Usually it's one one. You always have a one habit. You always speak by feelings. You are animal. Animals create sound by feelings. So there is an animal in us which is called uh, we have uh, animal nature, which is a beast, which is our fundamental force. That's feelings. That's ego, that's I. That's why most of the time you waste your life by creating impact, convincing people, manipulate, and create a relationship which never lost, mess up your life left and right without any rational reason but you suffer. Your entire suffering of life is based on your terminology of speaking, word. In the beginning there was a word, word was with God, word was God, the word is God. And so long a person speaks by feelings and emotions, He's just serving the beast. <clears throat> when you speak human, when you speak human, when you speak purpose or a mission which is beyond you, then you try to reach out the heart of other people. Your language changes, your word changes, your sound changes. And when you speak like, you speak like an angel, when you speak universal, total, And these are the three divided lines of communication. You may sometime intermix them. You create a hodgepodge. That will be worst. So basically, you have to develop an intuitive sense of communication. So you may not incur karma. You know, whatever you do in your life, it doesn't matter to me what you do. I mean, try, please understand, this is yoga class. This is not a religious class or a philosophy class or it's a mathematics class or geometry class. It's a class about yoga. So whatever you speak, whatever, you have the right to speak. 
but whatever you speak which in kar karma you shall pay for it it will catch up with you may not now maybe later and karma in your life what do you think you are you have intelligence yes you think you are very wise yes you think you are very experienced yes. you have knowledge yes. you have everything you have nothing all you have your word all that is background that puts you up to speak and what you speak that's it ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਹਿ ਮੈਨ ਮੂੰਹ ਕੱਢ ਮੈਂ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਪਿੰਡੋਂ ਕੱਢਾ ਦ ਵਰਡ ਸੇਜ ਯੂ ਸਪੀਕ ਮੀ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਮਾਊਥ ਪਾਸ ਮੀ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਯਰ ਮਾਊਥ ਆਲ ਥਰੋ ਯੂ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਸਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਯੂ ਸਪੀਕ ਸਰਟਨ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਦੇ ਟੀਅਰ ਯੂ ਪਾਰਟ ਸਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਯੂ ਸੇ ਸਰਟਨ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਦੇ ਮੇਕ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਦ ਲਾਰਡ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਟੋਟਲ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸ ਇਸ ਬੇਸਡ ਔਨ ਵਨ ਵਰਡ ਸਪੋਕਨ and there is another language when you don't speak then there's no spoken word and you speak there's a body language there's a spoken language and there's a language of the being you know you you study so many spiritual things if you just study one simple thing how to speak you will be fine you may have the most precious medicine if you do not know how to deliver it you can't save the patient you may have all the wealth if you cannot use it what is the use the vehicle of the human in existence is intercommunication and how you communicate intuitive communication is called grace i was talking this morning to some woman and i said you know one thing best has happened doesn't matter how space out this program is but your language has changed i was listening to a very western woman she was talking of the ascending or descending masters i don't know what they are something but i listened to that tape descending master ascending master ascending. something they were they were there in all the ages so they put them together but the language was very <coughs> reverence there was a lot of reverence in words and after 45 minutes listening to tape i heard they said actually nothing not a thing so what we say and what we hear is a play of our own self nobody speaks to us we speak to ourselves because the terminology is when you speak to somebody you have to hear that too if something can pollute somebody when you speak to somebody that shall pollute you too the tragedy is that person will be polluted only consciously and you will be polluted subconsciously or that will be so worst for you you can't get out of it you may not know the impact of it every base of every disease is a wrong word spoken because whatever you hear it affects your body 
whatever you speak, it affects your nervous system, your body, your being. Sometime we feel that what we say has no effect on us, it has effect on others. No, my friends, it has actually much way deeper effect on you than on anybody else. What you are saying, you are hearing too. And if you think by speaking you can disturb somebody, do you know you are ruining yourself? Because every thought is all there is in life. God is a thought. A thought there is a God. Have you seen him? Have you found him? No. There's a thought. Our expression is thought. And one thousand thought per wink of the eye we have in our shashara. And you know how many zillion thoughts we have? And every thought has a feeling and emotions and a desire to it. Where you will go? That's why we meditate in the morning, the house clean. Because when the subconscious get loaded, it start getting unloaded into the unconscious. And when the unconscious loads into the conscious, you start suffering nightmares. <clears throat> you must understand, by the age of 27, no triastai, 9 into 3 is 27, a person has a chase of nightmare. At the age of 54, you are unable to reverse it. It's called set life. You keep on doing things, doing things, doing things. So somewhere along the line, couple thousand years ago, when a man was sitting in his own orbit of tranquility, harmony and peace, and they were practicing their own yoga, own awareness, they found out where their problem is. And we are going to practice tonight intuitive speaking. Right? Now, what is? what do you want? There's a one common need. What's that common need you have, which you publicly, everybody wants? You want food, right? That's your primary hunger. Human hunger is food, right? You want food. Now, you see people, some people you put food before them, they will pray. They will bow. Automatically, not that you have to say to them. For them it's a gift, it's angelic. Some people look at the food and thank you the guest, they are human. And some people just start eating like a pig. They'll say nothing. Do you, do you notice? Food is one thing which can, dec which can decide where a person is at. That's our first need, food. We f eat twice a day, we drink two, three times a day. These are few needs, special needs. And basically, I would like to let you know, you are 60% water. And water is very important in your body. And everything is balance or imbalance of your water. There's nothing more or nothing less. In Chinese medicine, 
they don't treat a person at all for symptoms. They just adjust water system of the person. It's very funny. You go to a good Chinese doctor, he first say, I'll get your stool. And from the smell of the stool, he'll find out how much your colon and your digestive system and all that has a water. Oh, for they measure it from there. They don't care what you say. And then they regulate your water and you're well received. There's only one way to stop the old age. That you should, you must rain like a water. Your pores must be open. Whether you exercise or you do other things. You have a sauna bath. What is that? That's the system. Because in those cold places, people could not sweat. They found out a system. They can sweat. So everywhere, geographically, man found out some way to sweat. But man has never found out a way to speak. Your tongue has 84 meridians to touch. And normally we ask you to repeat certain words and you do. And they do good to you. Because every mantra has a capacity to make your 30 trillion cell dance with it. Your whole body vibrates with it. It's, it's, it is interlocked vibration. And pran, pran, the sound, that is creative of light and light is created of the sound. So they are interrelated. So when you sit down and you vibrate and you speak, Now, utter this word, I need food. I need no, 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 just examine it is a something, you must test it. It is not something you should just laugh at it. It's a very basic need. I need food. I need food. I shall be grateful if I like to have some food. Is there any possibility that somehow that I can have some food? Now these three sentences are asking for food. But there's a different style of a human behind it. Your words are your projection. Person, personality is behind it. Whosoever put his personality through words gracefully gets the grace of the Mother Nature, shall never be poor, shall never be wrong, shall never be in trouble. That's the simplest way to get rich. Socially, economically, personally. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your word is a thunderbolt. Behind you stand. How you throw your thunderbolt, that matters. Demand the same. Or you can say, hey, food. Can you not say that? And if you are most mannerless, I mean, there's no dearth of you, then you just go in the refrigerator, say, where is food here? You will question it. Every negative word spoken by you directly or indirectly negates you. These are little things in life you never to pay attention to. You have never been trained to do that. 
that is why in the orient when yoga starts they teach mantra mantra vibration tra trang trang means vibration like an ocean has waves waves mental waves mantra literally means mental waves and mantra is not a small few minutes just nonsense is the most powerful thing if done with proper combination combination is called mudra and doing the mantra is called kriya and mantra is just mental wave mind is locked mantra has that capacity and once your mind is locked and thunderbolt is set you are set for life and when intuition comes to you then you know then you have to feel the graphics of it now graphics is that whatever you speak the other person is going until you have a perfect way of delivering your sound other person is not going to listen more than 20% and after 15% 15 minutes nobody listens this is a natural law of body so if you talk to somebody just take the key lines and repeat those key lines so they get grinded there speaking is that other person hears speaking is not that you get your emotions out the process of speaking which we normally use is to get ourselves out now that's the wrong way of speaking that's a waste of energy when you speak other person must receive 100% of it and that's the way to speak if sometime you feel like a mood is not right i sometimes do this joke hello you are pink or yellow the person immediately comes to attention you both won't believe this one line of mind puts a person right in the center oh what what is say what is pink what is yellow what is me because it's a direct question you know why you say hello because you want to know whether a person is hollow or there is a hello something there <laughs> is the way you talk you want to speak to somebody you say hello whether a person is inside or has gone somewhere sometimes you speak to somebody and they sit before you ha 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 you know mm mm-hmm. i understand i understand after two days you tell them i spoke to you that day oh yeah oh yeah. i was not there that much absent minded you can be so tonight we'll speak to our internal self that's the first time you're going to do it please do it right so stage by stage we can experience all right <coughs> so you see these fingers their nails there touch like this in the center of the heart center right here is a very proper place and you don't have to make a hole there don't press it just simple straight <laughs> no no the posture itself will give you a very good posture very good feeling if you do it right just put the nails together and just put those fingers together right at the point where the chest line is where the rib line meets and put these two aids the thumbs up straight and put your eyes at the tip of your nose
and we are going to play the tape of her, the tantric tape, and you have to feel the sound in the tip of these fingers. When you say har, 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 you have to feel them here at the rib cage. Har, har, har. That's all you have to do. All right, put the tape on. With the tongue you will say har, the chest line will move with each word har. Sound in the chest, rib cage. Listen this, now you have reached a point, it is a very important. If you can resound this mantra of for sound her in the heart center, in the rib cage, you can control the universe. 
that power comes to every ordinary person and now you are set you are now in that twilight zone you are entering now beyond that just remember when you are doing it that this sound her is not you are listening in the ears or you are speaking in the tongue you are having it here that is intuitive meditation understand and you can feel it in the tip of your all fingers jupiter saturn sun and mercury <clears throat> only your ego it is out that's the combination of the lock all right set go
equalizing the energy there's nothing more to it hands up straight like bits and tennis don't stretch it out stretch this spine Take a fist, press it at your chest, and press it hard so that you distribute what you got all over. Press, 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 press. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Deep, and make the fist at your navel point and press hard. As hard as you can. Go, 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 go. Breathe out. Inhale deep. Put your fist on the sides and put your elbows by your rib cage and please put an impact. Synchronize your whole body. That will kill the unwanted self of yours. and breathe out and now you can relax and there was good 11 minutes you have spent nicely it doesn't take too much centuries to do things there are six sounds har hare hari wa he guru that's all there are six sounds and once who can control this six sound in the rib cage Ribcage represents actually the universe, and if you can hear these sounds, ultimately our ideas, then there is nothing you cannot hear. And once you started intuitively knowing, hearing the nature, as Mother Nature speaks, then you know where you stand. You have not yet found. Yourself, where you come from, my dear folks. Emotional living is feeling living. Emotional living is <coughs> existence, but it's not living. Ultimately, we need to live within ourselves. So the most important thing is that our pranic energy must. Come to our help when we need it, and every word spoken of our should be effective, creative, and well understood. And every work which you do or don't want to do, that has nothing to do with the fact. But whatever you say, that must create a creative work. It's called applied consciousness. If you do not know the definition of the word applied consciousness, speak consciously and apply to the creativeness. That is very human. And if you apply the creative consciousness to loftiness or towards the infinity, that's God. There's no big deal. And don't be misled that God is somewhere there or there or there. It is you and your words. How you speak. We can say, we have, we feel good. That's human. Blessed are we. That's divine. 
Um, we are <laughs> feeling pretty. Hmm. That is our smelly nature. We smell each other. The most powerful instinct in a human is the smell. We'll deal with the other class, how it affects you. And that's why mostly people use uh, perfumes and cologne. They hide their smell. It's not that they smell good. They don't smell at all. There's only one smell. If everybody start wearing one cologne, there will be one smell. What happens to us then? When I was coming from New Mexico today, <clears throat> a lady was wearing a perfume and it was so strong that in spite of my every effort, I couldn't stop coughing. And when I sat in the plane, I just prayed to God that she should have some distance. And God was very kind to me. She sat in the middle of the plane and everybody in that area started coughing. I said, there you go. <laughs> she was wearing such a substance, a funny perfume. It's unbearable. It irritated everything. Some people can do that. You wear perfume, you wear different kind of smells, but do you know the most beautiful smell is your own? I hope one day you will like your own smell. It will save you a couple dollars, but <laughs> may the long time sun shine upon you, all those around you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May self of the Atma, the friend of that body, the cage, in which lives the life. In that consciousness, to love, to serve, to be in bliss, may the guiding stars of my destiny make me cover the distance. And may the wind behind you, may the shining sun and bright path Lead me to the end in peace, in complete fulfillment, so that the journey may look done well in ecstasy, so one can find the blessing and the bliss combined in one breath. Satna. Uh, sometime if you are in a, a mental duality, you should do this, you see? This, the people who share, you see, they distribute cards, they do that kind of thing, but you do this just for a few minutes and you will be surprisingly how it can affect because it creates a sound which you do not know, do you know? Oh, distribute, yes, yes. What is the special occasion? No? Is the orange day, come on. It's very funny, when you, when you have nothing to do and you do not know what to do, just do for a few minutes and you'll be surprised what it can do for you. And now it's a very good orange day, wow.
धर्म तो मामा दैट्स अ वेरी गुड जेस्टर दो